Hey guys, welcome to our channel that is Adu Mandala. So today we will be discussing about the schools of Indian philosophy. So this lecture is basically an introduction. The detail about the schools of Indian philosophy will be discussed in subsequent lectures. Here we will in this lecture we will understand the meaning of philosophy and uh, what are the roots of Indian philosophy and what what are the broad trends and broad schools that have emerged over the time. So let's start without wasting much time. Uh, so yeah, what does philosophy mean? First of all, you must know the uh, meaning of uh, something which you are going to study. So topic is of course philosophy. So you must know the meaning. So uh, if we go by etymology, then it, it is a philosophy is a combination of two words that is philia and sophia. So philia means love and sophia means wisdom. So when you combine these two words, it comes to love of wisdom. So basically philosophy in simple term, if we have to define, then it is it is uh, the love uh, of wisdom and uh, and and kind of desire for wisdom. So more complex definition or we can say formal definition is that uh, philosophy is basically study of things like nature of the real world and existence, use and limits of knowledge and principles of moral judgment. So this is basically a formal definition. Uh, to make it simple, you can think about that philosophy basically addresses with issues like uh, 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 ex uh, creation of this universe, existence, uh, life, uh, uh, life cycle, birth, death and uh, what the universe is made of and all, uh, all those things uh, and all um, uh, all the kind of uh, contemplations that that you make in your mind that that comes under the sphere of philosophy so now the first thing which we must focus upon is beginnings of indian philosophy so i have not just started the indian philosophy straight forward i i want to uh, inform you a, a bit about the roots of, that is from where the Indian philosophy has begun. So if we want to know the roots, then uh, we have to look into the issue that when the Indians start began to think about such questions like uh, life, birth, death, existence of God, creation of universe and extra what the universe is made of. So all those things when when Indians began to think about such questions, we have to find that. So basically, uh, the thing, one thing which is very important is it is not that uh, the human beings prior to uh, the lit literature or prior to the uh, period when 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 the when when <clears throat> we started writing and uh, uh, we st started uh, recording our uh, thoughts. Uh, prior to that, it was not that uh, that people may not be thinking about such issues. People m uh, must th people uh, might have thought about all those things, uh, but as they are not recorded, we can't say anything. So basically, I'm talking about the prehistoric period in which there there, there was no writing. So uh, if we want to know the roots, then it comes to the Rig Veda. So Rig Veda is the earliest known literature of Indian subcontinent and it is the oldest Sanskrit literature and uh, uh, from Rig Veda itself we find that uh, the uh, seers, the sages who were, uh, who, who, who were writing Rig Veda or who were um, uh, making hymns of Rig Veda, they, they were contemplating about all these questions which were related to philosophy. But the main thing is that uh, in, in Rig Veda, there is also a reference to religion. So religion and philosophy are not same things. Religion is a matter of belief. Philosophy is when you study various schools of beliefs. So philosophy has a wider uh, aspect. So, but Rig Veda, uh, it, it has not just the religious aspect in itself, but also the philosophical as, uh, aspect as well. So we must know how, uh, uh, is, how is it that uh, it is that. So following passage I have taken from Rig Veda, actually uh, uh, it is basically translation uh, in English of uh, uh, of Rig Veda of a Rig Veda hymn, in which uh, a sage uh, uh, asks multiple questions like who knows for certain, 
who shall here declare it whence was it born so question uh, was that he was asking or she was asking when uh, this entire thing came into existence whence came this creation and uh, and and he he also then start tried to answer that gods were born after this world's creation uh, but then how uh, prior to gods uh, what what thing was in existence and how we can know about that who can know from where uh, whence it has arisen none know he only knows or perhaps even he may know not so he here refers to the god uh so uh, that is basically you you can see that the uh, seers were contemplating such questions and in fact they also wrote the answers to them uh, they not just contemplated they 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 not just uh, asked the questions they made the speculations also so <clears throat> speculations were basically if you if you want to define speculation it, you you can you can say that uh, uh, you you make an inference of something like uh, you deduce some uh, fact or you uh, you make a reference uh, to to uh, think and uh, you you come to a conclusion a self made conclusion or self made uh, belief uh, about uh, about that thing so that is basically speculation so speculation uh is different from a fact because fact is verifiable and uh, it it can be uh, verified by logic and reasoning but speculation is uh, totally the creation of mind what what you think uh, in your mind it may not be necessary that it is uh, uh scientifically very uh, verifiable or uh, is it uh, is is it valid or not so such questions were asked then uh, also not only rigved multiple other texts uh, in uh, were there uh, that were that, that were talking about philosophy so even if we talk about four vedas that is the rig ved the uh, yajur ved sam ved and atharv ved all these four vedas we find hymns relating to uh, uh, relating to uh, as the uh, relating to aspects that touch the uh, that 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 touch the sphere of philosophy so uh, apart from vedas uh, particularly important are the aranyakas so aranyakas are also known by the uh, name forest books so they were written by sages who were living in in forests so basically uh, they uh, uh, these uh, we we use the term sanyasi uh, in in indian tradition for a person who lives in forest um, uh, away from all the materialistic life so that those persons uh, wrote these books and uh, while they may be uh, and of course in aranyakas there is focus upon uh, meditation then rituals so if we find four vedas then if focus is on rituals uh, there then uh, the focus of aranyakas is on meditation and when you meditate when you uh, when you when you think about something uh, by sitting in a calm place you you must uh, you also you also make conclusions you make speculations you make contemplations so that uh, that was also one of the main beginning source uh, of of uh, all the um, of all the uh, thought uh, regarding indian philosophy so another important set of books are upanishads so upanishads are basically Uh, uh the conclusions of vedas and they are totally focused upon philosophical aspects of vedas so they are uh, in fact if you uh, are a student of philosophy you must read uh, uh, in uh, about upanishads in details that uh, how these uh, these texts talk about various philosophical questions which uh, uh, which which are a subject matter of the uh, of, of this discipline so uh, they focus on philosophical aspects and also uh, upanishads are known by other name that is vedantas so it means the end of vedas so in literal sense it means an end of vedas but basically it means the conclusion that we get from vedanta that we get from vedas and multiple other um, uh, texts or literature associated with vedas because uh, this conclusion also covers uh, the uh, the thing uh, uh, that is rituals which are focused upon in vedas so 
focus is more on uh, thought process than on uh, uh, doing some rituals or uh, following some rules uh, or uh, while while uh, while while do, uh, while doing your uh, karma so <clears throat> vedanta and uh, this as i have said that uh, upanishads are also known by the name vedantas let me tell you that vedanta is also one of the six orthodox schools of indian philosophy so we together refer to uh, those uh, schools as shada darshana shastra like uh, but but uh, the thing is we will be discussing about them uh, uh, that is the six schools in detail in in coming lectures here uh, i have just mentioned for your reference that vedanta is also one of that uh, six orthodox schools so uh, in these texts um, uh, including uh, including the vedas and other literature uh, like aranyakas upanishads and uh, various other uh, uh, attached literature we find the terms like brahmana atman rita maya extra so all brahmana means universe uh, and atman is defined uh, uh, as soul uh, rita we can uh, def- uh, read it 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 it, uh, it can be read as rita i am read, uh, reading it as a rita because uh, it is spelt like that so rita is basically cosmic cosmic order uh, like a cosmic tradition uh, that is what is ordained by the universe the universal rule or we can say universal uh, uh, universal uh, universal conduct so that is basically the thing so all those things are mentioned uh, uh, in vedas as well as uh, other texts uh, also so now the question arises so uh, that where all these things settle down what is the contemporary scenario when it comes to indian philosophy so about the contemporary scenario there are two broad schools of indian philosophy we refer to them as orthodox schools of philosophy and heterodox heterodox schools of philosophy so orthodox uh, uh, if you go by literal meaning then you will come uh, come to a wrong conclusion orthodox here does not mean conservative here it means the conventional school uh the uh, which followed for which followed the vedic tradition that is uh, that schools uh, which which made their propositions following uh, the broad uh, broad theme set by the vedic tradition uh, and they make interpretations speculations and contemplations all those things uh, within the broad vedic tradition uh, that that uh, that uh, that uh, the vedic religion of that time uh, in um, uh, of that time existed so uh, then heterodox uh, is uh, those schools which were not associated with hinduism or vedic religion they were uh, they were basically the different uh, other religions that uh, uh, came into existence as a reaction uh, as a reaction as well as as a, uh, as, a as a as a result of uh, um, as a reaction to vedas and as a result of uh, the need of the uh, need of the times so we will discuss about these schools in detail about subsequent lectures so you can see a photograph i have just attached it i have uh, included it in the uh, uh, in 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 the slide in the presentation so here you can see classification is there astika and nastika uh, astika uh, if we go by literal meaning then it means that one who believes in god and nastika is uh, one who does not believe in god and yes uh, this is the fact Uh, that this is the difference between uh, between two schools of indian philosophy one believes in god and the other does not and uh, uh, this astika school orthodox school has six schools further sankhya yoga nyaya visheshika mimamsa vedanta and then nastika school includes buddhism jainism charvaka so these are the broad schools when we talk about the contemporary indian philosophy that has developed over a period of 2000 to uh, uh, 3000 years ago uh, so this is about this lecture and if you like this lecture then do ensure that you uh, like it share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel 
and you can also join our telegram channel the link of which i will be providing in the description box so simply you can check the description box and can join us on telegram using that link so uh, uh, there you will be getting uh, regular updates about various other things also so uh, which may you you may need for the for the purpose of your examination uh, or for 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 meeting your needs whatever they they may be regarding uh, the uh, regarding the education or current events extra so this is all about today's lecture thank you have a very nice day ahead